What's going on YouTube? Hex one for life back with another video. Gotta have the coffee in the morning to get the juices flowing. But I want to make a quick video about um, Gabriel Rosado, King Gabriel, and uh, I want to talk about the state of his career. I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big fan of his. Um, but he's lost out of his last four fights. He's lost all four fights. Now one is is a no no contest, which I thought he was going to fight. But let's get into some quick detail about, you know, what he should do to hopefully, you know, change his career around. Now, there's an issue, obviously, with the cuts. You know, Gabriel Rosado has had, had an, a, a big issue with his cutting over that eye. Um, I believe it's I, be, I believe it's left eye. I believe it is. But anyway, um, I feel that Gabriel Rosado is going to have to take at least a whole year off. No boxing. Just not even sparring take a whole year off of boxing keep in shape you know with normal exercises obviously keep in top form but anything to do with boxing just just give your body some rest you know stay away from the sport heal totally heal um you know he, he's definitely gonna be prone to cuts but fighting continuously is not gonna help anything i think he should give his body at least a year rest also, his corner. I mean, I, I, I'm not feeling his corner. I think um, Rosado should absolutely find um, a new trainer. Um, I don't know. I think uh, maybe a Freddie Roach. Um, I would, you know, he's good friends with Bernard Hopkins. I would talk, you know, Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins, um, I believe, will be an excellent trainer. But Rosado's 28 years old. You know, obviously, he's still young enough to make an impact. The boy got a lot of heart, um, a lot of determination, but obviously, you know, things just seem to go wrong for him. As far as, let's, let's go back a little bit. The uh, the love fight, the, the Jay Leon love fight. I had him, that was bullshit. He, he had the fight won. You know, that's a fight that I believe he should he should have won. That's it. Um, obviously, it's no, no contest because of the drug test results for, uh, Leon, for Leon Love, but that you know horrible the Peter Quillen fight I had Gabe Rosado closing in that fight very quickly towards the end before it stopped because of that cut it's a shame that fight was stopped over that cut I felt Rosado was coming in strong and was really closing the gap I actually had that fight at the time of the stoppage draw you know Rosado was coming in strong towards the end of the fight and you know again the cut made the you know they made him stop the fight, and if I remember correctly, he was in a no-win situation. The judges had had him losing by a lot of points. Uh, where ringside, even Paul Imanaji had you know had to fight real close. Now again, last night he was outboxed. You know Rosado lost that fight clearly. Again, the cuts were an issue. If I was Rosado, this would be my plan of attack. Again, I've been watching boxing for 25 years. Christmas mug. Anyway, take a whole year off of boxing. Let your body recuperate. Rest your body. You know, keep in top form, but no boxing. And I would absolutely look into a good, um, a new trainer. And, um, and go from there. See what happens. You know, it's a shame. Um, Rosado reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, in a way, in a way, a little bit of Angel Man Freddy, where, you know what I mean, you, you get to the big stage and you just can't can't win the big one, you know what I mean, um, in a way. But anyway, that's that's my, my opinion about Gabe Rosado, you know, a lot of heart, a lot of determination. Unfortunately, luck is, is not on his side with these big fights, um, but last night, he clearly lost last night, you know. And this cut is not going to get any better. I think he's going to have to lay off a boxing for at least a year. And, you know, he's going to be prone to cuts. He's going to be prone to cuts. But at least give that, that, those cuts, his body, a full year of um, rest. That's what I think. Tell me what y'all think. You know, what should Gabriel Rosado do at this point? You know, should he hang, hang him up? Should he, I don't know, get a new trainer, start boxing right away? Or should he do what I do, what I think he should do? Take a whole year rest, recuperate, maybe a new trainer. A new corner, uh, maybe a conditioning coach, and um, see what he can do from there. Peace.